Hello and welcome to my Java tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about UI Manager and how it goes and how it works. And by the way, this is Ishmael D. Sorry for the late production. Uh, introduction, production. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, basically I imported the Swing, I, Swing import and AWT, and I extended the J frame so we can get all the properties. And I'm created a I don't know what it's best to just pause and copy this down and yeah let me just carry on my explanation <laughs> so this is a constructor three buttons you can use anything you want and I made a J panel so I can set all these three buttons into one little batch and set the title set the, the type of layout there's flow layout grid layout I chose border layout and set tool tip text um, which when you hover over the button it would display something like I am okay button whatever and yeah I did it for the rest and I added all the components to the J frame and created the public the main class and yeah just control the J frame from there so this tutorial I will be going through UI manager so let's I'm gonna start off with declaring it UI manager excuse my spelling okay so UI manager dot dot put button background this will change all the components of the button into um, the background color that I'm going to set. So uh, let's set it to gray. Let's choose gray. Okay, so semicolon, let's run that. Oh, it didn't work because I forgot to add a capital to the bloody B. So, okay, um, should work now. Okay, so three buttons instead this is the whole point of UI manager it controls all the imports so if you set a button to a background of gray it would set all the buttons to the color gray and let's just play around with it more you can do with any uh, import within the swing library uh, let's go foreground this has changed the font color for ground foreground uh, color let's change pink uh, yes sorry I already got a flu so um, excuse me if I'm sounding a bit dull and yeah so look it changed the color to pink and when you hover over okay I'm okay button and in this tutorial I'm, I want to show something unique because um, I've been uh, going around on Google um, and people writing crazy tons of code just to change the color of this you see this come on pop up okay you see that I'm okay button the background's blue and the f the font is is black so there were people just writing tons of code just to change that in this tutorial it's going to be unique and I'm just going to show you a shortcut put Okay, um, what's it called? Tool, tip, background. Yeah. Okay, so color dot. What should we set to this? Some bright color. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we want to change the font color. So let's just copy this bit here. change it to tool tip tool tip okay let me just drag it here because I limited the screen recorder size ouch can't even see anything <laughs> too bright but yeah it sets it to the thing and we can just demonstrate let me just copy this and go under here hello B2 button two and 
I love you guys. That's to my subscribers and viewers. And let's go here. Which one do we set to? Cancel. I love you guys. I can't really see it. Let me just make it viewable. Uh, let's change it to gray. Oh, damn. Gray. Okay, so it should be viewable right now. I love you guys. Okay, so uh, we can do so much, so much stuff with this UI manager. We can change the font. Let's try it with the font manager. Put typing it down. So copy and paste it. Button font. Okay, so we go new font. Um, Arial comma font dot um, so italic bold and set the size to say 25 shouldn't cause a problem and so yeah look at that cool huh instead of just Writing this code, going down here, going font, or just declaring it, you going up here, font is f equals new font, and you just send all of it there, and then you have to declare it at the bottom here. You just can set at the top and it just save you a lot of time. <laughs> because I'm just having people that are just lazy. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, that's it for the tutorial. You can basically use this uh, UI manager for all the swing imports, like you know, anything. Just if you want to change something and want to apply it to all, you know, the buttons, the the radio buttons, anything, you can just apply it here and just do it. If you have any questions, please, please leave. <laughs> Please leave a comment below and I'll help you with all my heart. That sounds so wrong. and But yeah, I will um, try to answer your comments. And yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and see you next time.